What's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be a review on the QTEC Synergy Breach. I ordered the QTEC Synergy Breach from uh, Pull Dogs, and this is what it came with. It came with a box. As you can see, this is a very impressive box. It comes with all the specifications on the QTEC itself. But the one that impressed me the most is the layout. As you can see, they have it nicely laid out. This is the um, butt of the Q and the shaft and I counted how many wipes it comes with. It actually comes with 24 wipes, but this is very impressive for what it is for just a brake cue and how QTEC designed it and how they ship it in this. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the butt of the cue. As you can see, it comes with the joint protectors. This is supposed to be a 3 8 by 14 pin. The first half of the butt it's very smooth. It almost feels like the carbon fiber. And this part is where it's um, painted or lacquered. And that's where you get your grip. It's very interesting um, the way it comes on the, um, the bumper. As you can see, this is where you put the weight. I ordered this key in 19 ounces and I'll show you how the weight looks. These are the weights that it came with the Q. I removed it. It's very impressive. It says QTEC on it. And you can see it was a Phillips. We made it easy to remove. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the shaft. As you can see, it also comes with its joint protector. The joint itself is this, looks like a uh, stainless, but it has maybe an ABS insert inside. And one thing about it, it has a ferrule. It was supposed to be a phenomic, and it comes with a Tom's 2.0 brake brake tip. The shaft itself, the way it feels, it feels nice. The raise of the taper, it's not super slim like uh, the plain Q. It's supposed to be a 12.75, but as you can see, it has a nice grade on it, where it actually feels pretty good on the, the fingers. One thing you can see, if you can tell. This is where the carbon fiber meets. There's actually a line that's very, not really noticeable, but you can see it. Some people are, um, don't like that, but that doesn't bother me none. It's, um, it's a nice, nice, stiff shaft. We're gonna go ahead and weight every single part. That way we know exactly what the shaft weighs and what the butt weighs. Let's go ahead and weigh the butt first, and then we're gonna go weigh the shaft. Uh, without the weights itself, it's empty. This is how much the butt weighs. It actually weighs 14.05 ounces. And the shaft itself. Three point eighty five ounces. And we'll see how much the weight. One weight that's um, half an ounce. And also a half an ounce. So when I got it shipped to me, it actually weighs exactly 19 ounces. I was very impressed. I don't know if QTEC actually did that or if it's uh, Pull Dogs, who actually took the time to make sure I actually got a 19 ounce Q because I requested a 19 ounce Q and this is what they delivered. For braking, I really like a light Q, so I decided to take off the weight itself. So now without the weight, the Q itself weighs 17.95 ounces. So it's under 18 ounce, um, that should be perfect for me for braking. With the uh, basic law of physics, F equals MA, I should have a better acceleration with a lighter Q. So let's go ahead and put the Q together and see how the joint is and how straight the Q itself is. So, having it together on the transition, it doesn't feel like it has any lips which is a good thing. Any bumps, which is awesome. The transition from the carbon fiber to the first half of the butt, it feels really nice. And let's go ahead and see if it has any wobbles or how straight it is. It has a little bit of wobble. The cue itself is straight. Let's go ahead and test it this way. This is the way I like to test the cue to see for straightness. tip itself doesn't really move erratically. 
which is a good thing. And let's go ahead and test it on the hit, how it sounds and how it feels. This is just a regular up and down. Sounds not bad. So let's go ahead and test out the brakes itself. We'll do a nine ball, eight ball, and a 10 ball brake. I just did a brief overview on this Q-Tech Breach. It's a nice brake cue, um, has a good race on the taper itself. The only thing I don't like is this uh, Towns. It's pretty sharp and it makes some white edges on my, my cloth. I noticed that, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lay and run this off, give this a little bit more test. If I don't like it, I got a G10 tip now ready for installation. Stay tuned for that. But other than that, if you want a brake cue that is carbon fiber, I would recommend this brake cue. Hopefully this video was informative. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye. <laughs> Just want to give you an update on this Q-Tech breach. This is what I did with the tip. Uh, I shortened it and I made it a little bit flatter. And I've been practicing with this cue for about a week. So let's go ahead and check out the 8 ball break, the 9 ball break, and the 10 ball break. With those brakes, I just wanted to show you the cue ball and what the tip does to it when it strikes. As you can see, this is the chalk mark. That tip is very elastic. It gets it a nice sweet spot. Uh, I'm planning to probably just keep that tip. Hope you guys enjoyed all those brakes. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.